yo what's going on youtube so we back with another video right um today's gonna be a good video man right anytime i can get some mods on the car anytime i can buy some mods to help help the hellcat get better um this video today is really about i've been searching youtube man i've been trying to have a perfect setup man like and i haven't really seen any video that shows what is the perfect hellcat suspension setup to get you the best traction possible on the street and on the track, man. So today, man, we're gonna dive in. We're gonna order some parts, man. I'm gonna walk you through it. Um, you can see what I'm about to do. It's real big, man. It's gonna be nice. All right, like I told y'all, man, I, I wanna take y'all from day one to fully modified, man. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna see what works, see what don't work. Hey, and we're gonna get right to it. So let's get right to it. So the first thing, right, that I wanna look at is, um. A differential brace right so before we do that I want to order some Amsoil because I heard Amsoil is the best so we're gonna look at vehicle right oh, my things are kind of bright it's kind of bright for y'all there we go a vehicle so the thing I've been learning with uh, Amsoil is uh, sometimes you have like a, from the differential, it's like a differential noise, or I guess they call it like a chatter or something like that. So first thing I want to do before I um, add a differential brace is I want to change the differential fluid. So we can do the differential. It's all fairly simple, man. You can kind of click on it like that. Drops you down. So what I'm going to end up ordering is... I'm gonna end up ordering two of them. So they say it takes um, just about one, like one, I think like 1.2 quarts or something like that. So I'll add two. So from my research, what I've seen is you order two, uh, the first one you put in there, let it drain through and it uh, cleans out all the bad shavings or all the bad oil that was in there. And then you'll add, take the first one, Right, so we're gonna add that to the cart. View our cart. It's not bad. So you also need a slip lock. So you'll take and, and always get the the easy pour pack. Right, it has a little funnel on top. So you'll take the slip lock. It's a four ounce tube. Add it to the one quart um, pack of the gear oil, and then that make that gives you that one point four. So that's the first thing. All right, we're gonna do. Boom, we're gonna check out. The next thing we're gonna look at is, I wanna go to uh, Duster Off Tuning. So um, from my understanding, right, Duster Off Tuning, man, they offer a military discount on uh, their parts and stuff like that. They offer different discounts and stuff like that. So the first thing that I wanna look at is I want to look at some drag. Hold on, I messed it up. Look at some drag springs. Right, so I've been looking at, um, trying to add some demon springs, stuff like that, give me some better weight transfer. I've heard that, you know, it really does help that much better. Right, just a small piece to the puzzle stuff like that so I definitely want to I'll be taking the car to the track this year so that's something else that I'll be getting involved into so this is really uh supposed to help like you say your one fourth times your um weight transfer times so these are softer springs to the point where as you step on the gas the front comes back it squats back and takes off right so it's just uh another piece of the puzzle like I said that helps with weight transfer so boom we're gonna add that to the cart Matter of fact, shipping add that to the cart the next thing that i want to look at is right we're gonna look at a cradle lockout kit
Boom, cradle lockout kit, right? And take that. Okay. Send stop. So basically, um, the cradle lockout kit gets rid of all the play in the cradle, right? All that, I guess I want to say, you want to say like slouch or play, right? And that's another thing that helps you uh, tighten up the the rear of the car as you as you step on the gas and the car wants to step out on you. It helps keep the car more straight. So boom, and we're going to check out there. All right, the next thing that I want to look at is, which I think is nice, is AAD uh, performance, right? So they have these control arms and everything else that I've been looking at, and uh, a lot of people say that they have a really nice product. So for the most part, I've went back and forth. And they also, oh, they also got a sale going on. So I've went back and forth with either you can do the wheel hop eliminator which is 1119 or you can do the drag pack so i think that like i want to do it right the first time so i'm gonna go with the drag pack boom and okay they got an option for blood red oh that blood red is nice wow that's nice Oh yeah, they even have what's called an electric blue. So if you're into the blue, then that blue is nice too. I ain't gonna lie. But red being my favorite color, we're gonna stick with the red. All right, that red is cold. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the with the red. So. Boom, we're gonna add that to the cart. And then I wanna say, right, so the last thing that I wanna look at is, let's see, Challenger. Let's go back, continue shopping, right? We're gonna go to the Challenger. Next thing I wanna look at is, here we go. Performance development, DRS, DIRS brace, differential brace. So I've seen a lot of different braces online. And um, I think that this is probably by far one of the best ones just because of how thick it is, the quality, everything else to install. Um, there's also a part where if you need to drain your differential, there's a, a differential hole for the plug that you can have easily access to. So I definitely think that this one is by far the best. So it says it's supposed to reinforce your differential case and improve your car's IRS operation and traction. So that sounds good to me, right? So boom, standard. So there's also, this is the standard one. And I guess there's one that you can do for if you have an aftermarket exhaust. So I'm gonna just do the standard one, which is 549, add that to the cart. All right. That looks good to me. Boom, we're gonna go to check out. So let me enter my information. Um, all right, so boom, right? We got this taken care of. Okay. Okay, and uh, information. And enter. All right, so we've got that, um, we've got that ordered. Hopefully, um, it doesn't take too long for it to get shipped. You know, I'd be real impatient with, uh, Everybody's impatient, man, when it comes to car parts and getting shipped and how long it takes, man. So, hopefully, so what we did today is we ordered the drag pack, we ordered a differential brace, we ordered drag springs, and we ordered uh, a crater lockout kit. Um, I think that for me, that's one of the best, the best alternate stuff to put together. 
that the doorbell? Ain't no way. That's a doorbell? Ain't no way it shipped that fast. Let's go see. Oh man, there we go. I can't believe it shipped that fast for real. Uh, all right, let's get these in the house. I like that. That's quick shipping. All right, so now that we've got our packages, let's go ahead and start the unbox and let's check all the stuff out, all right? I love the shipping, the shipping. I don't know how they did that, but that was nice. I like that. So the first thing we're gonna unbox is, uh, I think this is from Amsoil. So let's check this one out. So what we have so far is we got the AMS oil, which is the gear oil that goes in the differential. And then you have to add the slip lock in there. So what I think I'll do is I'll probably take this off, add some of this in the bag um, for one that goes in. And then I'll probably use one bag to actually, when I drain it, right? I'll use this bag to put more in there just to clean it out. So that way it cycles out. And then I can actually put this in there to fill it up. So I'm glad we got this. That's pretty nice. So, and we're gonna do that before we actually add on, actually add the new differential to it. So I definitely wanna change that up. All right, so next, I think this is the Cradle Lockout Kit from uh, Duster Off Tuning. So let's do this. This looks. it is so this is definitely the real creator lockout kit all right that came nicely packed in a box huh. Huh. smaller box into a bigger box all right so this actually came pretty uh well wrapped right so as you can see all the parts are covered up nicely which i definitely like that Bushes in there. So I'm not trying to uh, actually take them all apart just yet, just because I'll be taking this to a, a shop to get done. So I kind of want to keep it protected until I get to the shop, right? So but it actually came uh, pretty well packaged. So, so that's nice. This one is from uh, Performance Development. So I want to say that this is the differential um, brace. So let's get this opened up and see how this looks. Again, uh, from these two companies, from Dust Rock Tuning and uh, Performance Development, which is uh, from AAD, it's actually packaged pretty nice. And I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to you, this is actually kind of heavy. So I'm not even gonna lie, this is definitely that nice. I don't wanna scratch it up. This is definitely a nice brace. So this is just one part. It's uh, two parts to it with a gasket and there's a bolt. Some bolt and stuff that goes in there. 
but I'm not even gonna lie, this is definitely pretty beefy and reinforced for real. So I can't wait to get um get this stuff put onto the car, right? To help with traction issues. I'm not even gonna lie. Trying to launch a Hellcat is not the easiest thing, man. Unless you got full drag tires on there and suspension set up. But don't worry, we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. Let me slide this back in. So next, I think uh, this is from AAD. I wanna say this is the control arms, uh, the drag pack and everything that comes with it. So like y'all saw, I did order the uh, blood red ones. So let's check it out and see how these look. So first pulling up, um, as you can see, the main thing that makes these so great is they have these tabs, right? That goes in, which can either make the tires sit out or sit in. So the purpose of it is to make the tires also sit more flat so you have more traction. So I'm glad that they already included the tabs to go with it. So let's pull one of these out. So this one is the trailing arm. It's one of the trailing arms. a nice piece of work right there that's gonna make a great addition onto the Hellcat so I'm gonna open up one more let's open up one more so let's see what is this one so this one would be one of the tow links This one be one of the tow links, all right? Let's try to open it. Hey, would you look at that, boy? That's nice, too. That's nice, man. Right? Again, it comes with the tabs on there. But right, look at that. Compared to stock, man, stock parts can't even compare. It's nice. All right, so then the last thing that we're gonna look at is, again, this is from uh, Duster Off Tuning. However you wanna call them, they're Demon Springs, Demon Killer Springs. It's basically um, the same version as the Carlisle Racing Demon Killer Springs or the HHP Springs. So um, I did try HHP, but for some reason, at the time that I ordered this, um, Theirs was on back order for like three months. So I did go with Dust Rock Tuning Springs, which I don't see it be, the characteristics should be the same as uh, the Demon Springs, right? So look at that, man. These are nice. These. 
That definitely pack is pretty good too. So these should be basically uh, demon springs. They're gonna give us that same characteristics um, for launching the car, basically for weight transfer. All right, so y'all seen the list, man. Y'all seen what we ordered. Um, next up, right, is gonna be literally we're gonna take it to the shop. We're gonna find a shop, man, to do all the work. So we're gonna find a shop that is gonna install the drag pack. They're gonna install the springs. They're gonna uh, do the crater lockout kit. And after that, right, we're gonna find an alignment shop to take us in, basically, you know, fine tune the suspension. So that way we can get rid of the Z Woo. I wanna have zero traction problems, man. When I step on it, I want the car to track straight. Um, As a Hellcat, man, I'm not even gonna lie. Street tires, even on Nittos, Mickeys, on the street, man. When you hit it and you haven't changed the suspension at all, the car will get it, it the the rear end likes to step out on you it does it likes to step out on you so i want to try and get rid of that feeling i want to try you know be able to punch it and get on it and the car tracks straight man i think that modding for power before you actually do mods to get the power to the ground is a waste of time so i want to mod the suspension now fully so that way, when we do go for the time to mod and, you know, take it to 800, 700, 900 horsepower Hellcat, we don't even have to worry about the traction stuff. We're already good to go. So, all right, man, stay tuned. I got y'all. All right, here is everything that will be installed on the car today. The left spring is the Demon Spring, right spring to stop. Here's how they compress the spring. This is them dropping the cradle to, to install the cradle lockout. This is the more the drag pack on the arms, the rear arms for the drag pack. They did a good job of marking the bolts, tightening everything, going over, checking their work. Um, I definitely love the work or the time that they put in. Again, man, them checking their work right behind each other. They also, I had a small leak, which they told me about that they fixed for me. All right, so we at the alignment shop, man. We just picked it up from the performance shop. We're here to do the alignment since we changed out the springs. We put demon springs in, we changed out. Um, we got AADs, rear drag pack, and we did a cradle lockout. So with all those things, man, I want to do an alignment to make sure that everything is straight, everything is tracking straight, everything is driving straight, man. So we're here at Burst Alignment, man. They gonna get us right. So let's see here, this was the zero I took out. Cause he had a zero in there, didn't he? Yeah, I think he did. I think he had a zero now, attached. Now there one. was a, there was a bag. What's this bag that has like nothing on it? I can't tell you man. That's this, what I think the- I think this was the minimal one you had. I okay. thought it was a two, but. Cause it, it has a diagram on the paper of yeah. how it like, well, I just haven't had the chance to read it because yeah, it's at the Yeah, so this was, shop. this is one of these. I, used it, that was in this bag okay i moved it from the where the zero was okay so the zero zero's on the top that's how much i changed the tub oh you see what okay. i mean yeah, 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 yeah i can see it now like the little yeah you the get it now there, yeah, yeah so that little bit yeah right, let me show you what my board looked like okay this little bit that little bit right there yeah, yeah. okay that changed that changed it from here yeah, yeah. The eight okay that's zero right yeah yeah it went from there to there Oh, okay, it, you, okay, I, I couldn't you. go from here to here. To zero. You yeah, see what I'm saying? Okay. So because the other side, okay, so it was like this was on this side. Yeah. Okay. And then on this side. And then on watch your step. Please. Yeah, I got you. And then on this side, it was over here. Oh, okay? Okay, okay. It was on the other side. Yeah. So what I did is on that side when I went from here, I went from here to here match that side. Okay. That's what I and did. And that's on the back. That's, ze that's zeroed out. Okay. I would like, in the perfect world, 
right yeah, there yeah. and then move that to there. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. But so that's what I did. That's okay. that little bit changed yeah. it to that. Okay. Yeah, because that's I don't the toe, think and that's really grab that's 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 crucial. Okay. Toe is way more important than camera, let me tell you that. Okay. For time. So how was the uh, front? Is the front well, straight? All I had to do is uh set the toe and uh send your steering wheel was off when you brought it over here. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh just a little bit, but I got that uh dialed in. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. Be like, ah, yeah. Like, ah, I do this thing. Trying to tell you, man. You, you miss a little side. That's it. <laughs> Last time somebody was filming, it fell off the rack. No, oh so man. Just <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is the one. So this is the tab I put in. Okay. To move that a little bit. Okay. That way. Oh yeah, okay, okay. You see they had the original had the original cam was in here. Yeah, right there. Yeah. I don't know why y'all can't just use the reg re regular cam bolt and everything on this part. Oh no. Yep. Man, those parts, yeah, they look nice, man. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Okay. So on this side, come on this side. Okay. So here's where your camber tabs are. Right there. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I see it now. On the inside. Yeah. Okay. And so you got. Oh, I'm sorry. So you got the tab right here, right? Yep. And then you got a tab right here. They got two arms. Okay. But you got to move equally. All together. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I see that now. So and to be honest with you, like like I said, you get it on tape. When yeah. you change the tires and sizes of the wheels, okay, it's not gonna change your camber or anything. Oh, okay. okay. A lot of people do think that, but it doesn't. Okay. Now, if you change the spring, the height of it, or if you change any of the arms or yeah. anything like that, then yes, that just that's gonna change it. Yeah, cause we, yeah, we definitely uh we change the springs on here, so yeah, I definitely have to do that right. The draw shaft, everything still look good under there, man. I'm gonna have some fun with this at the track, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sure you had some fun with it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm over here at LMD, right, which is Late Model Domestics. Uh, Mar and his team did all my work for me. Um, they've helped me out tremendously. They've took pictures, videos, anything that you could think of to make this convenient, um, they did. I love the work that they've done. I actually uh, test drove for a little bit. Um, it definitely performs like it should. If you're in Virginia and you want a good performance shop, man, that does everything from Mustangs, Corvettes, Dodges, everything, man, they'll take care of you like you're their own. So I actually here have Mario here. He's going to talk for a little bit about what he did to the car. All right, so we got uh, this Hellcat came to us. Customer did his research. Got some Demon Springs, some AD lower control arms, trailering arms, tow arms. Uh, setting this car up for the power it makes so it's usable. A lot of people, you know, they, they add a ton of power to these cars. They never really sure. take care of the suspension. You know, so having a car that's going to be able to squat and actually put the power on the pavement, not only on the street with some street tires, but then with AED arms with their flexibility to control camber, cast, or tow with the quick tab system. I mean, it, it's just a perfect kind of, kind of combination with this, this Hellcat. Um, beautiful car. Yeah. Uh, we are honored to be selected to work on this car. Uh, we used Burt's to do the alignment. Uh, they were fantastic getting this Hellcat set up. So we're excited to see what it does in the track. Oh yeah, definitely. We're excited to see how it puts the power down, some good feedback. I like the squat. Oh yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Way stiffer spring in the front. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It was actually about three inches taller than the back. Oh, okay. Um, okay. And then in the back, you can see it's got that nice little stand. So as you start to transition, that power yeah. really puts it down. Um, it, it, it should definitely give you an advantage over the yeah, guys definitely. not running something. So we appreciate you. Sure. Yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate Can't it, yeah. Out. Yeah, so next thing, only thing else I want to talk about was um, since I do am going to the drag strip this year, I have 17s already. So um, I know everybody says uh, 305, 45, 17s will fit on here with no modifications. Right. But do you think I can fit the 315? I think it's 315, 50, 17. They say like I got to beat like a little ribbon or what do you, what do you think I should do um, as far as that? It all depends on the wheel and the offset on okay. what size tire. Obviously, and I had shown you on some of that already, yeah. those inner fender wells. Yeah, you know, definitely, they, definitely. They do get some tire rub, especially if you're squatting and leaning hard. And yeah. Stuff, but 
depending if you're, if you're running a factory or if you're running an aftermarket wheel and you can cheat it out a little bit. Okay. Um, there's always a, a give and take in your tire size. Okay. But I would always test fit unless it's a proven combination. Okay, of okay. Tire. Okay. Well, I mean, anything out of 17 is going to give you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially some good, on some, 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 some prep track, man, you know. Okay. You know, put some PJ track bite down or something. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let her eat, you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, See what she does. I'm excited for it. Okay, yeah, yeah. I think it looks great. Well, shoot, man. Let's go in there and see about ordering some tires in. Okay. I need to get some Mickey Thompson's, man. Yeah. Get her some dancing shoes. Yeah. Can't go to the ball and uh, <laughs> I have a nice pair of shoes. Yeah, of course.